Hello, my name is Jeff Mermelstein, a photographer living in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm here today to talk briefly about my newest book from MacBooks titled Hashtag NYC. I will also answer some of the questions that some of you have texted along to me regarding the book and the work within it. Let me give you just a brief outline or summary of the banking of that body of work. I think it's important, important for me to, 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 to put on the table that to dra the transition of me using the Leica on the streets for decades to using exclusively the iPhone smart camera as camera had a, an enormous impact on me. Such an enormous impact that I couldn't have anticipated any camera change or any change whatever in being a photographer or a street photographer that I, I couldn't have anticipated how much the upheaval in the most wonderful positive ways uh, had taken place uh, for me. And I think the word fun, the word rapidity, uh, spontaneity, and perhaps even a, a new kind of snapshot uh, was enabled uh, and, and, and it, it, it fueled for me a, a kind of almost, uh, uh, I'll use the word furious, and I hope a gentle way, and a passive, a, a passive fury a, 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 of discovery, of a, a kind of image that I was making with the phone um, that uh, I hadn't seen before and delighted me and excited me and galvanized me and made me make literally, not metaphorically speaking, over a million pictures. Which became, in part, my book titled Hardened from Morel Books, also in London. While in the thrust, or even likely in, in, in the peak of making that work, a kind of, a kind of an event happened uh, that is, is typical in my path as a street photographer. And that is uh, things unfold by the work of it. And in the work of making that, making that body of work that I'm referring to as hardened, I came upon a woman who was in Manhattan on 8th Avenue, roughly speaking, in the middle 40s, perhaps 46th Street. And she was on a, uh, on a phone doing a Google search, and for no, no premeditated reason, no pencil to paper idea, I decided to take a picture of her screen, kind of like just to see what, like, what was there. And what it was was a Google search, and it was a Google search about uh, a will, and it also mentioned something, as I recall, that uh, refer to her father leaving no will or in a Google search, uh, someone saying that there, there, there was no will. And that opened this, this, the, this window or this door of the notion of what is appearing on our screens, myself included. Not too long after that, in front of Whole Foods on 7th Avenue downtown or somewhat downtown in the Gramercy area, I believe on 27th Street, roughly speaking, I photographed another woman on her cell phone out in front of the Whole Foods supermarket. And that, that set me over the top after I read that text because she was talking about giving her way, away her extra Barazzini fish. And, and that meant a lot to me that she wanted to give away her Barazzini fish and the other woman that she was offering it to wasn't sure that she really needed or wanted it because she had already eaten swordfish. That was a big deal to me. That made my day. And that was taking a pill of magic. As a photographer, we, 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 we crave and, 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 and thrive on such occurrences. And so in a sense, uh, that, that is uh, uh, some of the specific uh, incidents, if you will, or occurrences that, that fed or led uh, to, the, to the creation over a couple years uh, after that uh, of the body of work uh, that makes up uh, hashtag NYC. So now I'd like to read some of your questions and respond as best as I could or can uh, to them. So I'm going to read. So one second, please. Okay. I'll read the questions to you so that you too understand uh, what I'm going to be responding to. What made you switch your focus to photographing screens rather than people on the street. Well, I, I, I kind of just gave you a little information that, 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 that helps answer that question. 
But I think to help round out my answer, what I would say is that by making this body of work little by little as the work compounded, accumulated, and filtered, and edited, and grew, and, 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 and then, then the moments of doubt of the work, uh, all the regular ingredients uh, uh, overtook me. Uh, but there, there came a point when I really started to, to feel that I was unraveling a, a, a quite clear body of work uh, uh, that differentiated from uh, standing in front of people and it, it kind of, not kind of, but it truly manifested by figuratively and, and physically standing behind people. And, and, and so by obsessively continuing and adding to that body of work, I didn't lose interest of standing in front of people, but my, but my interest during that period of time was standing behind people and, 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 and looking into people uh, via their screens and the text they were writing and the words that they were communicating with in their minds to each other. And, and, and it, was, it was fresh. It, 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 was, it was an alternate insight into who we are, psyche, and, 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 and so on. And uh, it, it was terribly, it remains terribly interesting to me uh, uh, that it, it's, it, it's a road uh, less traveled or perhaps not traveled in time into the human condition uh, and existence. Now the second question, part of my shift of eyes over here. What has the project talk to, taught you about people, society today, people slash society today? The work, the project has taught me an awful lot and, and, and there's a flux and con, you know, a continued growth of, of, of what I uh, perceive, see, learn, will learn in the work. One of the things that occurs to me is, is the interrelatedness of us all, how we all have similar uh, kinds of uh, uh, doubts and furies and passions and obsessions and trivialities. And the text revealed to me this kind of like, uh, kind of like unpredictable, perhaps continuum, uh, or kind of like this uh, kind of weird, uh, random interconnectedness uh, of existence. After all, we are all the same in the end and in, in the now, I think. So, so that is one of the thoughts that enters my mind regarding this question. And it also, I think, uh, I think the, the cumulatively, the body of work revealed um, subjects or chapters, perhaps. That is, uh, groupings of, uh, of, of, of the text could be made if wanted, uh, where some dealt with sex or sexuality, uh, some, de some dealt, if not many, dealt with uh, the end of relationships, uh, and others dealt, amongst other things, with what I would say is a, a certain kind of absurdist, uh, nonsensical, uh, meaningless but meaning everything kind of uh, communication and those are my personal favorites and I think by them being my favorites that relates to to the heart of me and what I did prior uh, to to making these kinds of pictures on the streets the third question what do you think about the use of images do they carry more or less meaning to me images if I'm saying it right, I'm doing my best, are amazing. To me, images are kind of like hieroglyphics. They are kind of like musical notes. And there's a frequency of vibrance and obviously a visual content or, or, or a construct uh, that is new and expressive. And maybe at times with the emotive uh, ingredient or connotation, when they're digested visually, uh, uh, not necessarily more powerful than words, but equally powerful to words. And there's something in the newness of the feeling and ideas and emotion and, and, and states of mind that are reflected via these visual hieroglyphics uh, that I find exciting. Uh, we can think in emojis we can actually process idea, feeling, thoughts, answers, questions, laughter with these little 
diagrams and I love their colors and I love their shapes. I love their simplicity. They speak loudly. I think very loudly and they're of our time. Next question. Did you struggle at all with photographic ethics and the project being invasive slash exploitative in any way in your mind? My answer is yes. And my heart raced at times when making these pictures because in fact, I needed to get very, very close. I'm talking proximity, distant wise, to get these kinds of pictures. And I've done pictures on the streets for a very long time, and I would say that these are definitely the hardest, in, in, in rudimentary ways, the hardest that I've made uh, for, many le for many obvious and less more subtle uh, uh, reasons as a street photographer and the, and the physicality of the uh, athleticism that's required uh, to be a street photographer. Uh, um, I, I always from the get-go had been concerned with the ethics. I never felt and don't, do not feel that I've done anything wrong. And mainly because I've been very careful to maintain anonymity in the images. In other words, uh, they could be from any of us. And that made my work even harder. And that's a good thing. Because in my work, I had to not only engage with finding a text that would be memorable and interesting and informative, but I had to make sure that there was nothing there that uh, was an indication as to who this person was. So that was in a simplistic level and maybe not so simplistic level or maybe in not such a literal level, a very, very hard extra ball to juggle in trying and making or in the making of these images. But I've been very careful and because of that, they're ethical. Uh, no, there's, uh, there's anonymity uh, and my interest, my interest is opening up a further understanding of who we are, who I am, and where we're going at this particular time. I never hurt anybody with photographs prior to making these kinds of pictures, and I've never hurt anybody by making these kinds of pictures, as in this book, hashtag NYC and anonymity and, and, and is maintained. So I find, I find peace in that, and, but I, I am confessing or confiding in, 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 the, edge, in the edge of, of, of um, struggle, uh, uh, but uh, often, uh, not only with this specificity, uh, often there is a struggle or a work or an edge into what is interesting uh, and insightful. Uh, so uh, I hope that answers that question. Um, number five, the last question. Did you, always envision, did you always envision this working in book form? That's a good question. I, like so many of us photographers, feel that the book, more often than not, the, 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 no, the book as form, as communicative form, as object, is, is the ultimate uh, expressive vehicle uh, of a body of work of photographs. Uh, exhibitions go up and then they come down and they're marvelous and, and amazing and have properties uh, and successes and, and, and ways that a, a, a book can't have. Uh, but one thing that differentiates a, a book is that it goes on a shelf and it has permanency or it has a shelf life and we can go, we can go to it at any time of day uh, for years to come. And another thing about a book um, that breaks away from the idea of an exhibition is sequencing and editing. And, and the book as a whole and the whole idea of a book as a whole has, is, is something that I personally have learned a lot about and learned a little bit more after each and every book I've done. And I know that I have a lot more to learn, uh, but one of the most, um, rewarding things for me when I first see a new book when it is done in print in my hand is the realization that, uh, that that book as form, that book as object, is something that needs to be uh, uh, ab absorbed, experienced, and digested as a whole. And so the whole of a book, when it is successful, is, is a marvelous miracle. Uh, and it particularly lends itself to photographs. 
So, so, so in the back of my mind, and no matter what body of work I might be in the midst, somehow, even though it might not be dramatic and upfront in the very beginning, somewhere within my psyche, there is the plan, if you will, or the idea uh, that, that maybe I can make a book. And at a certain point, as did with this body of work, I realized I had a body of work substan substantial enough and expansive enough, diverse enough, diverse, diverse enough uh, to, 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 to put together and make a book. And I couldn't be happier with how, uh, how, how hashtag NYC succeeds as a book. And I'm so appreciative to everybody at Mac uh, who, has, uh, who has given their, their, their wonderful creativity and intelligence uh, to every step in the making of what something uh, of what is something that is very 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 special to me thank you for your time thank you very much